Okay, in our previous lectures on factors, multiples, and primes, we were able to establish that the factor of a number is a whole number that divides the number without a remainder. For instance, we said that the factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10, because 1 can divide 10 without a remainder. 2 can also divide 10 without a remainder. 5 can divide 10 without a remainder. And 10 can also divide itself without a remainder. Hence, in this lecture, common factors and highest common factors, that is HCF, we shall be looking at how to find the common factors and the highest common factors of numbers. Now, let's begin. We said that a factor common to two or more numbers is known as a common factor. That is, that particular factor that is common among two or more numbers, it is usually known as a common factor. Now, the largest of these factors that is common among two or more numbers is known as the highest common factor called HCF. I hope you understand what I just explained. We say that that particular factor that is common to two or more numbers, it is usually refers to as a common factor. Then among these common factors, the highest among them is usually known as the highest common factor which is usually abbreviated as HCF. Okay, for example, if we look at the factors of 24 and 32. Now, the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. I hope you remember what we are doing here because in our previous lectures, we're able to show you how to obtain the factors of a number. Okay, now, these are the factors of 24 because all these numbers can divide 24 without a remainder. Now, let's look at the factors of 32. The factors of 32 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32 because these numbers can divide 32 without a remainder. Now, from these factors, what are those factors that are common to 24 and 32? The factors that are common to 24 and 32 are the one known as common factors. Okay. So you can see that the common factors of 24 and 32 are what? 1, because 1 is common among them. 2, 2 is common among them. 4. 4 is common among them. And what? 8 is common among them. So that 1, 2, 4, and 8 are called common factors of 24 and 32. Then the highest among them is 8. So therefore we see that the 8 is the word, the highest common factor. I hope you understand this. Okay. Let's advance. Let's show you another method of obtaining the highest common factor. Still using the same example, now, we first and foremost look for the prime factors of 24. In our previous lecture, we discussed about prime factors. So you can refer back to the lecture if you are still having any confusion here. Now, let's advance. Another method of finding HCF, we look for the prime factors of 24. See what we do. 24, right? Now, we now say, what can divide 24? Which small prime number can divide 24 without a remainder? Of course, we choose 2. So, 24 divided by 2 gives us 12, right? The prime number that can divide 12 without a remainder, we still use 2. 12 divided by 2 is what? 6. 
okay we still use what two because two can still go so we now say six divided by two that gives us what three now we will now use three because two cannot go again so the smallest prime number here that can go is three we now say three divided by three and that is what one now we also check for the prime factors of 32. Remember, we are looking for the HCF of 24 and 32. Now, okay, 32 is given. We are looking for the prime factors. Now, we now look for the smallest prime number that can divide 32 without a remainder, and that is what? 2. So we now say 32 divided by 2. That gives us what? 16. The smallest prime number that can divide 16 without a remainder is what? We still use 2. We now say 16 divided by 2. That gives us what? 8. 2 can still go, of course. So we now say 8 divided by 2. That gives us what? 4. 2 can still go, right? We now say 4 divided by 2. And that gives us what? 2. Then... 2 again can still go. We now say 2 divided by 2 and that gives us what? 1. Obviously, you can now see that 24 is equal to, so that is the prime factors of 24 is equal to what? 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Then, the prime factor of 32 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. If you remember in our previous lecture, we said that every number in mathematics can be written as a product of its prime factors. So that is what we are applying here. Now, having written out the prime factors of 24 and 32, now we now check which of these are common. Of course, you can see that 2 and 2 is common, right? You can also see another 2. Another 2 here is also common, right? Then what again is common? 2 again and 2 again is what is common. Therefore, we can say that the HCF is equal to those common factors among them. That is 2 times 2 times 2. And that gives us what? 8. So this is an alternative method for finding the HCF of 2 or more numbers okay let's give another example example two here we are going to find the hcf of three numbers the question says find the hcf of 36 18 and 40 okay solution we are now going to find the prime factors of each of the number check for the common factors Multiply them out and get the HCF as what we did last. Now, let's check out the prime factors of 36. We now have 36, right? Now, the smallest prime number that can divide 36 without a remainder is 2. So we now say 36 divided by 2, and that gives us what? 18. The smallest prime number that can divide 18 is what? 2. We still say 18 divided by 2, that gives us what? 9. So what can go into 9? The smallest prime number that can go into 9 is 3 because 2 cannot go again. So we now say 9 divided by 3 gives us what? 3. So the smallest prime number that can go into 3 is what? Is 3, of course. We now say 3 divided by 3 and that gives us what? 1. Okay, those are the prime factors of 36. Now, let's check out the prime factors of 18. Now, okay, we now have our 18. So the smallest number that can divide 18 without a remainder, 2. 2 can go, right? We now say 18 divided by 2. That gives us 9. So what can go into 9? Of course, 3 will go because 2 cannot go there. We now say 9 divided by 3. That gives us 3. So the smallest prime number that can go into 3 is 3. So we now say 3 divided by 3, and that gives us 1. So these are the prime factors of 18. Now, let's check out the prime factors of 40. Okay? We now say what smaller or the smallest prime number that can divide 40? Of course, 2. 
we now say 40 divided by 2 that gives us 20 of course 2 can still go we now say 20 divided by 2 that gives us 10 of course 2 can still go we now say 10 divided by 2 that gives us 5 so 2 cannot go again and 3 cannot go so we use the next prime number which is 5 we now say 5 divided by 5 and that gives us 1 hence we can see that 36 is equals to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, right? That's the prime factors of 36. So 18 is what? 2 times 3 times 3, right? Of course, 40 is what? 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So among these three numbers, you can see that 2 is common to three of them. What again is common? There is no other number that is common to among three of them so therefore we see that the hcf of 36 18 and 40 is equals to what two i hope you understand this because we are going to use this a lot when we enter into the concept of fractions okay let's give you something to play with because we have come to the end of this particular lecture the first question says what is the HCF of 20 and 40? The second one says, What is the HCF of 20, 30, and 40? Please write your answer in the comment space below so you can look over it. Thank you very much. So in the next lecture, we shall be looking at common multiples and LCM. So stay tuned. See you in the next class. Thank you.